I'm choosing to watch this video because I want to hear from another step parent. I'm also in that situation, a blended family, and I want to know what they're going through and what they have to say about it. The Banks family uploaded a video called Michaela Addresses Rumors About Jasmine. Let me tell you a quick backstory on that. Jasmine V was a singer. It's pretty much a one-hit wonder, right? She used to date Justin Bieber when they were kids. She was also in a relationship with Austin from the Ace family. Moving on, she got in a relationship with Ronnie Banks. They had a YouTube channel together. They had a child. They were engaged. They didn't work out. She's now in a relationship with someone and he is now in a relationship with someone. I don't follow Jasmine V. I think she got boring. Now, him I do follow. You know what? I like his girl. I really like his girl. His girl's name is Michaela. She's from Hawaii, and now they have a child together. And apparently, Michaela and Jasmine haven't met until the last video when they got together for Ronnie and Jasmine's baby's birthday. Now listen, they, they seemed okay. They seemed okay in that video. Um, there were some times in that video where I found them to be kind of awkward, a little bit un uneasy, uncomfortable, but that's normal. After hearing all these rumors that they don't like each other, they're probably wondering in the back of their heads like, uh, I wonder if she really does like me or doesn't like me. We're gonna go ahead and watch this video because apparently they're addressing the rumors, so let's go ahead and watch. Isn't she so cute, that little girl, okay? She is Ronnie and Jasmine's child. Look how cute that baby is. That's Michaela and Ronnie's baby. So cute. I like this channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. He is such a great father. He is such a great father. He gives them love, attention, affection. He communicates with them as young as they are. He plays with them. He is an active father. And I'm not praising him as a father because I've <laughs> because that's your motherfucking role. You're supposed to do that, okay? But because there's not many of them, I have to respect it. That's Jasmine, y'all. That's Jasmine B. So this was for um, this was for her birthday. So they this is the first time they got together to celebrate, which is awesome. I I like that. It's healthy for the kid. There you go, that's the big family. You got Jasmine, her boyfriend. You got Ronnie, his girlfriend. And you got the kids. That's what's up. Look at that, look at that! Look at that! She has a great relationship with her stepmom. That's cute, and you saw Jasmine, she, res she appreciated that. You know what's crazy? Ronnie is a tall motherfucker too. He is tall. I think he's, I think he said it before, I think he's like 6'7 or something. And Michaela's really short. <laughs> she, I think she's 5'2. What's the big two with your boy Ronnie Banks? I'm Mackie. And today we're gonna talk about something real. Real. Talk about something Okay. Oh we have to be a little quiet because the baby's actually taking a nap. Alright guys, so we know 
know why everyone's here. Everyone has questions. Everyone has opinions. Everyone has doubts. Everyone has... Assumptions. Everyone has everything, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. We're not making this video to do anything but explain. Well, I'm not going to really do much explaining. <laughs> Honestly, to be honest with you guys, before we go into this, I truly don't really care as not care but i don't put as much emotion into the social media aspect of what opinions are i read a million things a day from a million different people and a million different assumptions about me have been made i've been doing this for about more than 10 years okay mm -hmm. i've had people hate me send me death threats will love me and and it's a mix of everything in this world you can't please everyone you're not going to please most of the people that come across you mm -hmm. I've come to understand that. In terms of people testing me or talking about me, I genuinely, you know, I read it and sometimes it gets to me and sometimes it doesn't, but I've You're never human. felt the, the need to address. address anything. I just read it and keep reading other ones, right? And okay. I take it, I take for what it is, for what I believe is true to myself or not. Now, with that being said, there's been some stuff that I'm literally going to let Michaela just take oh, the whole shit. Here really we go. I just don't have much to say on terms of everything. Okay. And, like, my whole thing is, like, I usually don't care what people say, especially when it comes to me. Like, you can say whatever you want about me, but when it comes to being a mom and, like, about my family, it just strikes a nerve. And I feel like... I don't need to engage into like what people say, but I feel like when we don't address certain things, it leaves it gets worse for people to make up stories. Right, so it'll get rather worse. Rather than just letting that continue on, I kind of want to nip it in the butt and just, you know, say what I have to say. And then people can say what they want. But without anything being said on our behalf or my behalf, it leaves a lot of room for people to make up things and say things and stuff. So that's my whole reason on why I kind of just want to address. We never ever did this before, ever. Address we've never, we've never addressed you know, anything ever we've never spoke about it we've never talked bad about anything like we just kind of lived our lives but i think you know it's been long awaited for us to kind of like ex not explain ourselves but kind of like inform. we've been it's yeah exactly definitely been trying to like yeah so that's my whole thing on why i kind of want to just do this and stuff so sorry but go ahead no I'm, i was just introducing i mean uh, this is totally what you want to say. And right, he's more here for moral support. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I mean, so for long story short, I guess what I'll, what the last thing I'll say is, unless I have an input, mm -hmm. long story short, we have two daughters, okay? Amira and Avea. And Amira, Amira is my firstborn, and she has a different mother, okay? Different biological mother. For everyone who's been keeping up with this, most of you already have an opinion. You love us, you hate us, or well, you don't care. And I'm sorry that our content has been driven by this lately, even though it's kind of what you guys have been into for some reason, <laughs> but I typically it's enjoy drama. our content and our content to be fun and adventurous. Non-problematic. That's, that's what people like care about. Unfortunately, drama sells. Not just sex, but drama. Percy, I'm a Libra. I love balance. Mm -hmm. I like everyone to be smooth. That's why when we had the birthday party and um michaela and jasmine met and i met omar jasmine's boyfriend everything i i not only did she feel but i definitely felt so good about everything because i was like all right that's okay. off my chest like i'm not worried about that anymore we can continue forward and figure out whatever we have to figure out afterwards and then but let me tell you th that was good but there's going to be times down the road where you guys are going to fall out it just happens. I've been in that situation. The baby daddy is gonna talk shit. The baby mama is gonna talk shit. You're gonna get defensive. Then y'all don't want to talk to each other. Just, just only talk about the kid. It's gonna happen. That just that's just the situation. So you guys, before you have a child, please know who the fuck you're dealing with first. Know who that person is. Make sure you want to spend the rest of your life with that person before you have a kid. And there was a video made. Where, if I can be totally honest with you, we I spoke to Jasmine myself, Michaela spoke to Jasmine herself, off camera. That conversation, on terms of what came from it, was definitely a positive one. Mm -hmm. For so many different reasons, it just was miscommunication. Things were addressed, which I'll let her talk about, but everything is like, what I, what I wanted to say is, as you guys being viewers, 
And every time you watch our side, you're on our team. Then you watch someone else's side, you're on their team. And then we explain ourselves back. And then you're on our team. And then it, it's really not, it's almost just listen. You listen to every word everyone has to say. And then just, you are going to remain cordially in between because granted, keep in mind, no one's involved in this personally besides both parties. You guys just have your internet opinion, your facts. social opinion. Facts. Right, and let me just clarify, like by you guys, whether you're dragging you know, the other party or you're dragging us, you're not gaining anything because we're not like, oh yeah, see, like we don't like, you're... I mean, I understand you have your opinion and whatever, but I'm just letting you know, if you're supporters of us, you don't need to go anywhere else and drag anybody to 100%. Reason. Be grown. Be grown-ass adults. And most likely, the people that are doing that are children. They don't know any better. But if you're a fucking grown-ass adult, be mature about things. That's the last thing we want is our supporters because you guys are a reflection of us in a sense, you know? Like we don't want you guys going on anybody else's page and dragging them because you think it'll make us feel good and be like, yeah, our supporters got our back. Absolutely not. That's really not how That our is back. no. You know, continue to support us and love us. We don't need you guys to be going and defending our back. I like we don't no, need def you guys, de like defend us, but you don't have to slander attack slander anybody and to defend exactly. yourself Absolutely. Or and I just want to get off the table because I feel like a lot of people like feel like they're gonna get like some kudo points by doing that and like. <laughs> well, they just want to show that they're supporters, and I truly But there's truly, a, there's truly a way to do it, you guys. There's a way to do everything, and it's not like we're. And the thing is, it seemed and it almost seemed like we were sending you guys, and she was sending them to us, mm -hmm. and that's. The last thing that's on my mind is to send someone to do my dirty work for me. So I guess we should just go straight into it. And this is by saying, no, we are not. I know, I know what the I know what the title is, but we are not addressing any any negative factor towards Amira's mom, Jasmine. We are not doing that. We, this is we not just a saw her. Video. Yeah, we just we're not slandering. We are, and I don't even say me because <laughs> I could care less. But I truly understand how she feels, and if she feels this way, let her I talk. That way too. That's, That's truly right. That. So That's what's up. That's what's up. Just saw Amira's mom. We just saw Amira. She had a fourth birthday party, another birthday party after the first one in our LA trip to Disneyland. Her mom threw her birthday party. We went to that. It was super cute. Michaela literally just met everyone in Jasmine's family. We Damn. Had a good time. There was nothing. So we're not going to go turn around and then. Right. And, make and this then a just go make video, a fashion like, video when we just had a good time. Yeah. That's not how we roll. So what we're going to do, what she's going to do, and I'm going to listen and you're going to listen, is let her explain the things that she had weighing on her shoulders that meant a lot to her. So let's All right, Michaela, the floor is yours. All right, so I am Michaela, for those of you who don't know, but who do know. Um, I am Avea's mom, and I am Amira's stepmother. Amira is not my biological daughter. So a lot of you wouldn't pick that up because I don't treat Amira any different than I would want, you know, Avea to feel. So... And I know that for a fact. I know I don't live with them. I know I don't know them personally, but through videos, she is a very active stepmother and she deserves a lot of respect from everybody. Um, just background, um, like I wanted to talk about my culture, kind of. So I grew up in Hawaii and- Am I Hawaii though, Shout out to my Hawaii. A lot of people in the mainland won't really understand what I'm coming, like how, what I'm trying to say, but there's a culture difference, you guys. So I yeah. grew up in Hawaii where you know, there's so much aloha and love means you love everybody. Everybody's auntie and uncle. Basically. That's what's up. And, you know. Which is cool. I want to go to Hawaii. Pot. So there's a lot of blended families. That's just how a lot of us were raised. You know, everybody, everybody loves everybody. Um, uncle is dad. Mom is, you know, it's just, there's, there's just a culture difference. I myself come from a blended family, so I know what it's like to have this kind of culture and this type of blended family, you know? Um, we both do, but yeah, I, absolutely. I had a, a stepmother who mm -hmm. was my mom. I don't. I grew up with the same parents, mom and dad, always together, married for, I think, over, uh, I don't know, maybe 45 years. I'm not quite sure, long time. So I never came in that family, but I, I am a part of it. I have a wife and four stepchildren and blended families can be hard and difficult. But when you love, 
that's just that's just it becomes also natural yeah just to cut to the chase what's been bothering me lately is the fact that like people are one shocked that i treat amira this way well. it kind of like i tell this to ronnie all the time i'm like do people expect me to like be the evil stepmom treat and like bad. Treat her like dirt. Girl, let me tell you why. I will explain that to you. I will explain that to you. Because our kids, our small kids, are watching Disney movies at such a young age. And if you pay attention to these movies, I'm talking about the, the older ones, it's becoming better. They always make the stepmom the evil stepmom. So these kids grow up already thinking that way. A lot of people don't understand like when you have a good relationship with your stepchild, they just, it's like taboo. It's like, how's that possible? But you guys, it exists, okay? It exists. Cause that is like, I was like, when people are like, oh my God, it's crazy how you treat a mirror like your own. I'm like, what's so crazy about it? Like, it's isn't not, that what we're supposed to common. do? It's not very common, especially nowadays in our generation. Right, and that's what I'm saying. In the culture in Hawaii, like, you don't see that. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was kind of like a surprise to me. Like when I moved out here, like everybody was like, wow, it's crazy like how you treat a mirror. And to me, it just boggles my mind because I'm not, you know, it's not something like shocking to me. But another thing is like people, are constantly telling me not our supporters our supporters love no, my relationship no. with Amira there's a couple of people there's, there's a lot of people who are considered our supporters who like literally if you look through our DMs there's eight DMs of oh I love this oh my god I love you guys and you guys are so beautiful and this and then there was the video made which we talked to personally and privately to Jasmine about uh, I wish I knew what he was talking about because I don't know what that video is or what it was about. Obviously, Jasmine said something in that video. I wish I knew what it fucking was. I wonder, I don't know, I'll probably look for it later. There was a video made and then after those different assumptions about us, it's, I can't, I can't believe you. How dare you, Ronnie's this, Ronnie's that, you're this, you're that. And it's, I mean, and it is, a lot of stuff shows like, and that's why I brought up in the beginning, people are quick to jump to seem like they're Dre from Power. Friends with them, they, they, whoever the side is supposed to be on. And that's not typically, I mean, hey, I mean, if you feel like whoever's right and if you go like that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, if, I don't know what I'm saying. But if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Well, if you know us, then anybody else's opinion or words should not change how you feel about us. Because... Well, no, because if we are doing something wrong, <laughs> if we are doing something wrong... But in no way, shape, or form, even from the video that Jasmine posted, there's not the only thing that typically was wrong was that she didn't meet she didn't meet you. But if, if I can speak wholly and transparently, there's and this is also why I feel like and, and, and I'm not gonna speak for Jasmine, but what I'm saying is and this is coming from someone who's a dad who now there's another man in my daughter's life. This is coming from a point of okay, there's. The, like the thing about ma matching outfits, which I know you're going to address on your own. But oh, about, God. Here we go. There are certain things that made her feel a certain way when she addressed in the video because you guys haven't met yet, right? No matter um, what small things we would have done. So there was a little bit of jealousy, I'm thinking. Like, she, what Jasmine probably thought was Michaela's trying to take her spot. And this is so common in blended families where the biological parent feels threatened. You guys, if you're, if you're an active parent in your child's life, there is no such thing as replacement. No such thing. There is no step parent in the world that can ever replace you as their biological parent, ever, ever. There's unconditional love there between you and your child. Or anything, but it was on the internet, we would have felt some kind of way because it took them a while to meet each other. Granted, it'd be my fault or her fault or whatever because there's like I said there's two sides to every story we're not even gonna go there but there's a lot of reasons why everyone felt a certain way about everything mm -hmm. and all of that comes down to the T of you guys just met and my thing was well now that you guys have met what comes from there now because we can say all this stuff about oh it took us this long to meet or this long or this long or this long but now that you guys have done that what is now gonna come from our relationship as parents to each other and our children. Right. Long story short. Now I think that's the best way to go into the matching outfits thing, which is our 
thing. Like that's how we do. That's we go to the grocery store, and if you're wearing gray, I wear gray. I mean, we're not we're not matching right now, but you know, that's just that's our thing. Mm -hmm. And I want you to address that because you address that best to me. Okay, so. let's hear this. I mean, just a side tap. Like whatever I'm talking about right now, me and Jasmine had a phone call, and I expressed to her how I I felt, and she you know talked to me, and like I said, the video you guys was not the problem. Jasmine had made a video and it, that was not the problem because she had nothing bad to say about me. Okay. Um, she did just leave a little gray areas for, you know, and like I said, like people used to talk so much crap to me in the beginning about being Amira's stepmom and trying to be her mom and blah, 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 blah. And then the, the, those comments died down. And then when Jasmine made the video, it just fueled the fire again for people to like, be in my messages and sending me messages about Which what happens is, is what happens even right. if she said good things about you right you know, absolutely but my whole thing was like and i told jazz this like you could have talked to me you know like anything that was bothering you like i wish you talked to me first so this video wouldn't take us by surprise but there was that empty space of like the whole meeting thing right and like I this is why i love michaela like this girl is grown okay she she <laughs> She rarely talks badly about people. It's like she cares for people and she tries to be understanding. So I have a lot of respect for this girl. She's a good person. Ronnie hit the jackpot with that one. I just wish like she had talked to me when she had the chance to and I get it. We were at a Mirror's birthday party. There wasn't really a perfect time to address these kind of things, but you know, I just wish we could have had that conversation before it was posted on a video. So we kind of could have cleared the air between each other too. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it is what it is, and yeah, so back to the matching outfit things. That's just what I do. <laughs> On camera, off camera, it's what I've been done. That, that's how I grew up. My mom used to match me and my siblings all the time <laughs> until they didn't make clothes matching in our size anymore. Like, we matched all the time, so that's just what I do. I'm going to match my daughter. And I'm gonna match my man. That's fucking and I'm right. Gonna match That's period. fucking right. I would. You would never. You guys. This is. I can't believe this is a really top. Like this is like a real topic. It just surprises me right now. Do you really want her to match with Ronnie and match their their mutual daughter and not have her stepdaughter match? Do you guys really expect her to leave her stepdaughter out like that? You know how, how she would feel? This little girl would feel? That's their family. If two people are gonna match in that family, the fucking whole family's gonna match. I can't believe people are saying shit. That's crazy. Never want Amira to feel outcasted, outcasted out. right? Like, me and Avea are matching. That's, and then that's crazy. Wants to match. That's exactly. Like yeah. this is my whole thing. Like I can't win, so I'm that's gonna crazy. continue to do what I'm doing because it makes me happy. Do you, it girl? It makes Amira happy, and it makes my because family happy. Do you? Exactly. So it's you like you can't please everybody. Me, like stop being, stop playing, not being, stop playing Amira's mom. We don't play. She Come is, y'all. This, this ain't no fucking life. game. This is my family. I'm not playing a role. Uh, I'm doing my role. Uh, she's in our home. Mind you, she lives with me. I'm not just some girlfriend that Ronnie brings over on the weekend. Right. I'm the mother of her sister. And she <laughs> lives in my house. Fucking Ronnie. Look at Ronnie. <laughs> when she said that. I'm not just a girlfriend that he brings over on the weekend. I'm not just some girlfriend that Ronnie brings over on the weekend. I'm the mother of her sister. <laughs> Stupid. And she lives in my house. That's when right. she is not with her mom, who is supposed to be that for her? Ronnie can't be mommy and daddy. Ronnie is ah, her dad. My so neck. I'm going to be that mother figure <laughs> for her and help nurture her and shape her into the young woman she's supposed to That's be. That's right, Whether girl. or not you guys like it, she lives with me. That's, That's right, That's my girl. stepdaughter, but I would never look at her or treat her that way. Because that's the last thing I would want is for her to resent me because I love my daughter more. What? Exactly. No, never. I would never want Amir to feel that way because, like I expressed to Ronnie, I wouldn't only be letting her down. I'd be letting him down. And I'd be letting myself down because I know better. I grew up in a blended family. That's right. That, and I was never treated any different. No children in my family were treated any different. So I would never want Amira to feel that way. And it's like I can't win because, oh, stop trying to be her mom. But if I wasn't trying to be a good role model Maybe for her. 
Like, I'd be getting dragged like, oh, Mackie treats her like dirt. What? And the thing is, the I'm sorry to interrupt. No, you're the fine. thing is that I try to really girl don't cry. Still, that 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 pisses me off. Girl, don't cry. Do not give these people that satisfaction. You are a great stepmother. You have fulfilled those shoes better than most women would or could. You're doing a great, phenomenal job. Don't let nobody else tell you different. Your man standing right next to you is that support. He knows you fulfill that role. That's what makes him love you. Do not let these people make you cry. I hate that. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, the fine. thing is that I try to really instill into you is that no matter what our lives is open for the worst of souls to view and the best of souls to view everyone's gonna have an opinion we always created a channel and, and upload every day for people to have an opinion on our lives whether we like it or not because at the end of the day that is who supports us allows this house over our head the cars for us to drive the shoes on our feet and the clothes on our back yes you are entitled to our opinion because we be we'd be ridiculous to say we don't want your opinion because your opinion at the end of the day just like we're saying now we read them and i can say yeah i truly don't you know it doesn't resonate with me or doesn't hurt me or whatever enough to respond but i still read them mm -hmm. Just like I read books, you guys. I got a whole library right here. And I, I mean, whatever we read on our phone, in a book, on a magazine, it makes you feel something. Happy, sad, whatever. You can read subtitles on a oh, movie. Yeah. They're going to have You're human. a feeling of it. You're and human. obviously, it's not giving the what we we'll be And I'm learning that, by the way, because I do get a couple negative comments here and there. I start to read it, but I was like, damn. Like, oh, <laughs> that shit beat me. You know what I'm saying? That shit, like, <laughs> hurt my feelings. But then I was like, er, Carol, remember, bliss, whatever, Carol's my real name. Remember, you are on social media. You are deciding to put your life out there. You're gonna hear different opinions. Allow them to have that and don't take it personal. I'm learning, I'm learning. Reading lately isn't been giving us the best vibe and energy, which is why we're addressing this. But. That doesn't go to say that that defines us as people, what the people are saying about us. So for the people who are supporting us and people who don't support us, when you're reading these things about us, understand that we can only provide to you as much as we can as who we are as people, as parents and as partners, and we can just be as real as possible. And if you sense whatever, if you're a psychologist and you sense whatever between us, then hey, I hope you're licensed. I hope, I hope you're. I hope you're correct because that's really it. On terms of me being a dad and on the outside of how how what the messages she gets and how I respond to that, I appreciate wholeheartedly what she does for my daughter. That's what's up. And if she were to act the other way, which you guys assume that she should be, she wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be with her, she wouldn't be with me, right? Mm -hmm. Because obviously she knows what I look for and I know what she looks for. Providing that in, in, in becoming a partnership and a duo and us having a mixed family now, she's just providing her role not i mean it, it is playing a role but she's not we're not playing here we this ain't no game this is our life our what we do on camera this is the first time in a minute that we did a sit down besides when we had the baby and we discussed the, the real roles of pregnancy besides that we barely been doing sit downs we just been having fun traveling going on adventures and that's what i wanted this channel to be from the day i started was just good stuff not all this this and that. Expect it though, Ronnie. Big views is the one that has to do with controversy. It's sad, but people fighting. that's like, how it works. I get that's what happens on reality TV, but this ain't reality TV here, honey boo. This is really just my life and the fun that I have in it. Granted, yeah, we have struggles and trials and tribulations, and, and it sucks that she's getting that kind of backlash because I also want to address the people who have been there and giving you nothing but love mm -hmm. for everything you do. So it's like, and I also, I've also been getting, I, I remember when I used to only reply to hate tweets. Back in the day when I was like 17, 16, 18, whatever, I would only respond to people who gave me negative comments. 
and it really hit me and that's what it also instilled a little bit in me and I learned something that people said why am I going to continue to support you and send you love when all you do is react and, and respond to the people who are giving you negative energy it's like I have to hate you and say something bad to you for you to care about me but my mm. girls know I'll be hitting them back in the DMs and on Twitter and stuff I always talk to my supporters we're only addressing the, the bad things mm -hmm. is we're making whole videos about the negative stuff in our life when it, you know what I'm saying so that's kind of why I steer clear of responding to negatives and I try to respond the best of my, the positives but I'm gonna be honest positive stuff outweighs my negative every day yeah I may be getting we in our, our thing about in other influencers who are watching you let one comment one bad comment ruin your, ruin your day. day when you have a thousand other people who are literally uh, telling you how much they want to be you, how much they love you, how preach much you it. inspire them, preach how it. much they love our matching outfits. Out of 5,000 comments that say I love your outfits and I love that you guys are matching, there's five comments that say what they don't like and then we're stressed about those five people. And that's, that's sad. not how we're about to roll. Right. Mm -hmm. That's not how we're about to get down. In order for, for you to not do it like that, like you had to really change your mentality. What we're going to do is establish what's been going on and I want you to continue to clear whatever you feel you have to clear but I also wanted to stop and just say to you guys that that's not what we're about to be doing here feeding off of the negative energy because I know a lot of you wish that we gave this amount of energy and support to you guys who are giving us the love like what, what about the people who are saying we love the outfits what about the people who are saying we love the way Mackie treats Amira because they do mm -hmm. every day we're not putting you guys in the dark we appreciate you guys we value you guys every day just as much as you seem to value us okay I just wanted to say that I'm sorry to interrupt again I know I do that a lot but that was <laughs> my mind and I needed to get that out because that's not what we do here all right I want to hear from Michaela again please thank and you another guys. thing um like you guys only see parts of our lives and we say this all the time and you guys think that I just like it's more than just the matching outfits and the cute pictures on Instagram like you guys don't see that I take care of this little girl I see it girl I feed her I see you doing it I see you brushing her hair I see you talking having conversations with her I see you playing with her girl I see it I wash her laundry yes I help do her hair I take care of her when she's sick. When she's upset about something, she can talk to me about it. And we don't document all of these things, so it's like I'm not because it's not for social media. This role and trying to make myself look good on social media because, like I said, at the end of the day, cameras on, cameras off, Instagram, not Instagram. This is me as a mother. This exactly. is what I do. Exactly. This is how I am, and I'm not going to change for nobody because what I'm doing is benefiting everybody. It benefits Amira, it benefits my man, it benefits my family. And I'm, I'm building this foundation and this bond between me and Amira so, because I'm gonna be in her life forever. And it starts now because she's so young. It, it would be. Look at Ronnie. Ronnie is so in love with her. Everything she's saying it's like hitting him right here. He, he loves this woman. It'd be different if she was 18 years old and me trying to do all of these things and trying, trying to play mom, trying She's to be four. mom. She's four years old and I need to establish my place in her life yes. so she can respect me as a parent yes. for the rest of hers. Yes. And that's my... And that's what made it hard in my situation um, as a stepmom to teenagers is I came in their lives later in life whereas if I was there when they were kids my my I would have been established you know like the respect would have been there right away and all like this and that it's just when when I got involved as when they were teenagers and um, there's certain things that can be a little bit tough on the kids as well as for me but you, you try to make it work you know but it's, it's always a lot easier when you make that establishment when they were young. And she has this, this opportunity to do that and she's doing it. She's got a great relationship with her stepdaughter. The main goal, especially because we have Avea now. And I need her to know that even though she didn't come out of my belly, my love for her and my love for Avea, there's not even a yes, percentage girl. different. And 
that's my goal in Amira's life is to be a stable family for her. That's that's I think both of our goal when she's with us is I don't have a biological child. I've always wanted a biological child since I was 19 years old. 30 I'm going to be 35 now. My stepchildren, I I treated them and looked at them as if they were my own. That's that's my very first time I had love for a child. And they're not even biologically mine, but I'm gonna treat them like they were. And that, that, that includes discipline as well. I gotta do what I gotta do, make decisions when I had to make decisions in order for them to be on the right path. And it can be very difficult. It's but it's worth it at the end. Stability and showing her a family as a whole. And I wouldn't want that to be any different. And um, I'm like sweating. So another thing is like referring back to Jasmine's video. She did not say anything bad about me. She thanked me and you know, she thanked me in person too. Okay. And um, that's all cleared up. But there was a little comments made, you know, towards Ronnie. And I expressed to Jasmine like, hey, whatever you guys got going on between you two. That's between them two, girl. <laughs> is between you two, Facts. but it's bigger than just you now. Like, I have a daughter with him. Mm. Even though Ronnie doesn't care what anybody says about him, it, I'm, I, it's sensitive to me because that's the father of my daughter too. Not just Amira, but Avea too. Because you're protective. And, and I don't like, I'm not gonna put all the business out there um, when it comes to my own family. It's just, I'm just relating to her. And, you know, when you're with someone who's got a baby daddy, you guys, they're, they're gonna have problems sometimes. Cause, especially when they have four children together. There's gonna come, they're gonna come across problems where one is talking badly about the other and it just happens. But it can be tough um, being the wife of that person because you wanna protect your wife, you wanna defend your wife, but knowing that you really can't get involved can be difficult but yet you feel like you could be involved because uh it is your wife that they're talking about so it can be like it's tough you guys it's tough and it, and i expressed that to her like you're not only hurting him what you're not hurting him but you're not only directing these things to him and it, even though it doesn't affect him you're affecting you know my daughter Our unit. exactly and she she understood that and she was like i'm so sorry like you know, sometimes she thinks off of emotion, which we all do. We're mm -hmm. women. We all think off of emotion. For whether sure. I want to admit it because I do it too. <laughs> For but, sure. you know, she understood where I was coming from and she was like, dang, like, you know, I have to start thinking about the whole dynamic now that it's not just me, Ronnie, and Amira. Like, there's more to the party. There's me and Avea now. And even though he doesn't care, like I said, it strikes a nerve within my heart because that's my daughter's father and I wouldn't want this image painted of him because I especially when their daughter gets older and she sees what what her sister's mother is saying about her dad it's like you don't want your daughter to go through that so of course it's not it's not only gonna affect Ronnie it's it's gonna affect the rest of the family I know what kind of dad and what kind of man he is and I mean that's nobody that's that's nobody else to know but me and my kids, you know, but at the end of the day, like, I just, I wouldn't want this ugly picture painted of him because that's not who he is. And the internet only sees certain things. They don't see what he does for us on the back end. And the last thing I would want is my daughter to grow up and see these ugly comments, even Amira, Amira and Avea to grow Her up too. and see these hateful things right. about their dad, you right. know, so. That was another thing on why. And since I've been watching them since Jasmine and Ronnie broke up, Ronnie, from what I know, and I don't follow them through any other social media except YouTube, Ronnie has never talked badly about Jasmine, never. And I, st I still haven't heard anything negative come from him. I was kind of not upset but taken off by Jazz's video 
and I also told her too, like, you know, even though there was nothing bad about the video, it was simply just her expressing herself. Um, it kind of just took us off guard, mainly me, because it's like, we just had this amazing time at Amira's fourth birthday party, and we were, like, I was literally, I told Jess, I was like on a high, like, wow, that went really well, you know, like, where do we go from here? Like, that was great. Me and Ronnie felt good. And, and then, I, I, I don't want to interrupt, but I think... So this video came out after the birthday party? I did not know that. What is this video? I'm gonna watch it after this. Because she even said it herself. If she still has it up. That video that she explained was before the meeting. Oh, and okay. And we just were more so like, well, wasn't the point of us meeting and doing all this stuff to go forward Move now? Forward, and absolutely. we just went backwards again. And she understood, like, it wasn't something wrong because she's entitled to her own opinion oh, and her own story. It's more so in terms of like, well, we're supposed to go forward. And, it's, and it also almost sounds like we're like, well, why did you say that? But we, hey, say what you feel. But the thing is, and <laughs> Respect, she said it herself, though. I was very, very young when I met Jasmine. I was 16 years old, okay? Um, I had my daughter at 18. And what happened between you know, me only being present to film or me only wanting to talk or hang out when we filmed or this or that. There was things that were going on in our lives, mm. in my life, and my own morale that we were already disconnected. We weren't a unit. Yeah. So we were only coming together, yes, For the to make films. videos. Now, I get it. That that was me when I was a young child, and I'm not saying I'm a grown ass man now or anything like that, but, but I've evolved. And you've grown up. And what happens on my camera is no. I want you guys to understand. I'm looking straight at the. the Nobody is perfect, you guys. Nobody's perfect. When there's a relationship and you've been with each other for so long, for so many years, you both are gonna make your mistakes. You both are gonna fuck up in some way. And you're, it just happens. How can, you can't be, you're two different individuals. You're coming together as one. You're gonna clash sometimes. There is no such thing as one person being at fault for the relationship to end. It's both. Now, now trying to make it work out and to make it last, you both have to put in the effort as well. If you don't put in the effort, it's gonna fail. One person can't do it all. You both gotta do it. Camera's eyes as if it's a person. I am doing this 24-7. I'm loving my family, being with my family. I don't do nothing. Most of the time, I don't do anything unless my daughters can come with me. And obviously, she's already with me. <laughs> but if my daughters can come too, then I can really go wherever. So that's me. I mean, we've, I, I mean, you know, people don't change, whatever. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a whole different 24 spin 360, but I'm saying that I've grown. I've learned, I've experienced, and I went through bad things to now understand what not and what to do. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Me saying no. You grow. Right now, I was going through my own stuff, which also at the end of the day, there was also times where she couldn't accommodate to when we were ready. That's not to bring, I'm, I'm, we're done, we're done. We're done with all this. Now, let's now see what happens going forward. Because, as I said, we're only here. <laughs> that was Ronnie about to talk shit, but then he stopped himself. Or maybe he did, but he just edited that part out. <laughs> Provide stability and love for our children and acting no different. And, I mean, this is where it's done. This is where it ends. This is where it ends. Because now if we keep going back here, back here, back here, we're never going to be able to go this way. Mm -hmm. There is no possibility for this way if we're just going to keep going over there. Because over there was things that everyone had a problem with everyone doing this and this and that when over here is what's supposed to be the bright side where we're moving forward mm -hmm. so if we're not moving forward what's the point that's what i, I feel but right so I, addressing old things aren't gonna flourish mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like we're just gonna keep digging we're just gonna keep digging, digging for things digging. that happened four years it's ago like, three years no ago. this is what happened no this is what happened yeah. no this is what happened no this so yeah. i mean like she said her part and i feel like this is our part and this is the book closing and we're all going this way now, you know? So like everything, you know, was addressed on her end, on our end. Me and Jazz, you know, we have a, a cordial relationship. We have each other's number. You know, we talk about things when it's coming to Amira. We're on a very good page and as we should be, we're adult. And we kind of want to set this platform and this set the bar for people going through the same situation as us that you don't have to be best friends, but be civil, be 
be adults, be mature, you know? And we got, we're doing it for one purpose, and her name is Amira. That is, you know, that little girl deserves nothing but love on all aspects, on all this and that from her life, and that's what, you know, we're coming together to do um, for her, and that's, that's, that's that, you know? Like I said, I'm gonna continue to do what I do, because this is my family at the end of the day. Amira is my family, um, right, blood or not. That's right. So I'm gonna continue to do what I do. And that's love that little girl and make her feel no different from my own daughter. Damn. And you know, we plan on having more kids in the future. <laughs> Ronnie, like, are you sure? And the last that? thing we would want. <laughs> <laughs> what can we say to this? Don't act brand new. <laughs> what? Don't expect any cookie. <laughs> But if I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. Um So that is today's video. Um different, very different. I have a feeling the whole turnaround of the channel will be just uplifted and different, but at the same time it's establishing a new realm of things. Right, and I just wanna let all the mamas going out there going through the same thing as Preach um, girl. we are. What you gotta as say as co parenting, like coming from a mother now of my own another woman being in my daughter's life i would want someone not to like toot my own horn but i would want someone like myself in this situation to treat my daughter that way because i would never ever want my daughter to feel any different mm -hmm. and that's why I, I provide this amazing relationship with amira because putting it into perspective and that's what everyone's like put yourself in that situation what about this what about that blah, blah, blah. I do I do all the time I do all the time and that's why I treat her so well and you know like if you are a step mommy you know just and you're getting slandered for trying to be mom or whatever the case is just continue to do what you're doing and love that child regardless because at the end of the day if you're gonna you know if that's your relationship and that's your family like that's just your duty. Like, that's just what you need to do is make that child feel no different than you would want your own kids to feel like. That is today's video, Banks family. We are out of here. Yeah, my teeth. Ronnie. My teeth still white. We out of here, Banks family. We'll see you next time when we are going to... Just stay tuned for the next video. Ready? One, two, three. We want to Hawaii. <laughs> Stupid. What? Yeah, I yeah. want to go. Yeah. Coming in. Coming in. Yeah. All right, let me stop it right there. Listen, I, I wanted to watch this video because I don't know any other blended families personally. Well, I do know two of them, but I don't really talk to the step parents in that way and to talk about how, how they're handling things and how they're doing things. So it's good to hear another blended family talk about it, especially coming from another stepmom. It's, it's good to have someone understand what I've been going through because let me tell you without talking my shit, a lot of outsiders talked a lot of shit about me as a stepmother and they don't understand what I've done for this family and what I have provided and what I've been supporting and me being emotionally there always through the good, through the bad, pushing them, pushing my stepkids to, to, to do their best in whatever they want to meddle in. I, I've, I've done my part. And when you have outsiders talk their shit without knowing, it makes you feel a certain way and it makes you feel unappreciated. And, and it shouldn't because by the end of the day, they, they don't live your life. They've never been in your shoes. Because those people who are talking that mess have never been in blended families or are not step parents themselves. So they don't understand, they don't get it. So it's good to watch this video. I'm glad I watched it and um, you know, I had to let a little bit out. I'm not gonna let it all out, but I had to let a little bit out and I appreciate everyone who has supported me and every decision that I've made in, in life. So all right, you guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.